Hello, I'm Michael Butler, CEO of the Tennessee Wildlife Federation. The Federation is a statewide nonprofit dedicated to conserving Tennessee's wildlife and being the voice of sportsmen and other outdoor enthusiasts. I'm excited to have with me today uh, Marquita Bradshaw, the Democratic candidate for the open seat in the U.S. Senate coming up in the general election this November 3rd. Candidate Bradshaw, thank you for joining us today. We really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to come spend some time with us. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Starting off, we'd just like to get to know a little bit about your thoughts. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what about wildlife and conservation and the environment and those issues are important to you? Well, I grew up down the street from a military landfill, and so it really did impact how I look at environmental po policy. And growing up in a hunting and fishing family, um, the, the impact of not being able to utilize the natural resources, that renewable resources when it comes to food around us uh, was very impactful. Like once we learned about that, we had to do a full educational campaign on the streams and, and different creeks that were around to discourage people from fishing in those places because it was unhealthy. And um, mm -hmm. growing up in a place like that made me committed to making sure that everyone, no matter where you are in Tennessee, you have healthy and safe communities to live, learn, work, worship, and recreate. And fishing, fishing and hunting is a recreational activity. Well, it's interesting you say that. I appreciate that because in Tennessee and in the United States, our system of wildlife management is very unique. There's none other like it in the world. Um, the, all wildlife are owned by the public. They're held in trust by the state. So the citizens own them. So that democratic ideal of access and all of those things is very important to our system of management here in the United States and Tennessee. And there's no guarantee, however, though, that there's gonna be enough funding to manage for these resources to ensure their long-term sustainability, things like that. So if you're elected, what do you view your role, if any, in supporting the management of these natural resources? Well, the, we have to manage these resources responsibly and make sure that we have generations to come that are able to enjoy um, not just wildlife for looking and, in, and you know camping and different things like that, but we secure our tradition uh, in American culture of, of fishing and hunting. And so, and making sure that we watch out for the health of what goes on in the physical environment, what happens to animals, is closely tied to people's health. Because in my neighborhood, um, it just didn't happen all of a sudden where the people started to get sick and die. It was started with the amphibians began to disappear, and then the pets, and then the trees died, and the people started to die. And that ha has impacted how I look at policy. And the whole, we can't take one away from the other. We have to approach policy holistically, and this is a part of people pursuing life, liberty, and in pursuit of happiness. Thank you. Um, another issue that's very important to us that we're working on here at the Federation is litter. Um, litter on the ground, on our roadways, in our lakes, um, here in Tennessee, across the state. We think we've become numb to it. We've seen it. Uh, how serious of an issue do you believe litter is in the state? And what do you think it'll take to solve that problem? Because we see it as a gateway issue for, for the environment. Well, the whole idea that you can just throw something away and it just disappear, we have to move away from that culture of pollution. Um, because it's actually going to impact our nation and destroy all the things that we hold dear if we continue down that path of pollution. So litter is only one aspect of that culture of pollution. And we have to move towards what we call a zero waste society where everything has a purpose even after you get finished using it. So it can either be recycled, reused, or upcycled. That's interesting. You know, finally, the last question here we have is, you know, the reason we have uh, our senior senator from Tennessee is retiring. That's why you're running. His seat is open. Um, he has been a stalwart for conservation in the U.S. Senate, has a long record 
of conservation-related ser uh, public service, including recently the passage of the Great American Outdoors Act, which is going to infuse a lot of badly needed funding into our public lands and, and parks and places that are special to people. Um, he comes from a line of Tennessee, Tennessee senators, such as Howard Baker, Albert Gore, uh, and himself, that have really carried this uh, torch for Tennessee. What will you do as our next senator to maintain and improve upon this legacy and uh, the legacy of senators from Tennessee and their, their leading uh, of the conservation movement? Well, one thing as uh, the next United States senator I hope to bring is how what makes me different is that I've been a part of environmental justice advocacy. And so some people don't actually know the culture of conservation and they have so many jobs to work that they don't actually ha have time for recreation. And I want to make sure that people get paid fairly so they can actually enjoy um, some of the natural resources that we have across the state. So just making sure people wages are fair means that more people can participate in the culture of conservation and also hunting and fishing. And I want every person, no matter what zip code they're in, to be able to enjoy that. And so, mm -hmm. of course, making sure there's adequate funding um, to make sure that our Tennessee stays beautiful and healthy and safe and that we preserve all the things that make us American when it comes to fishing and hunting. Well, thank you. Candidate Bradshaw for coming and spending a little time with us today. To learn more about conservation policy in Tennessee and ways to get involved, please visit our website at tnwf.org forward slash policy. Thank you.